In this video, we're going to explain how to do the assignment model uh, Hungarian method. Uh, but before I start, please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. And if you have a, any question, uh, leave a comment under the video. And so the assignment model uh, Hungarian method uh, is as simply as the best person for a job. The best person for a job is an appropriate description of the assignment model. The situation can be illustrated by the assignment of worker with varying degree of skills to the job. I just that happen to match a worker's skills, a job assigned to a, a skillful person is costly than one in which the operator is not skillful. It's the objective is to determine the minimum cost assignment of worker to the job. So on this table we have words here and we have jobs. You could notice we have the same number of workers and assigned to the same number of job. And the element Cij corresponding to C worker I and job J is how much uh, this job will cost. There is no loss of generality in assuming the number of workers always equal to the number of jobs. We can do always add fictitious worker or fictitious job to satisfy the assumption. Uh, the assignment model is c we have to mention that it is a transportation model where the number of supply equals the number of destination and they are all equal to one. CIJ is the cost in for transportation, the cost of transportation. Uh, between worker and jobs okay so in order to solve the ascent model using Torah we have to use to solve it uh, on the transportation model so let's start with the first example if he Joe's has three children John Car Carrie, Karen and Terry want to earn some money to take care of personal expenses during a school trip to the local zoo he's chosen three uh, doors for his children mowing the lawn painting the carriage and washing the family cars to avoid anticipated quotation he asked them to submit secret bits for what they feel is fair for each of the three chores uh, the understanding is that all three children will abide by their father's decision and who gets which chores so in this way he asked everyone to submit a fair bid of what is considered fair as an amount of money for the job uh, so the table below it summarizes the bit received based on this information how we should assign the job to each person. We start for the original cost matrix, which is this one. This is the original cost matrix. We identify each row minimum and subtract it from the entry of the row. And the same after doing step one, we do the same for the column. And then we identify the optimal solution as a feasible assignment associated with the zero element of the matrix obtained in step two. So let's start. We start by assigning for every single row, we start by assigning the minimum value of this row, which is nine, minimum value here, which is nine, and minimum value here, which is eight. And then we subtract this value from the original entry. So 15 minus nine, 15 minus nine is six, 10 minus nine is one. 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 9 is 0, 15 minus 9 is 6, and 10 minus 9 is 1. 10 minus 8, 12 minus 8, and 8 minus 8, and we put the result here. We do the same for the column, so we have here 0, 1, the minimum value in every single column, and 0. And you subtract it from the original column in order to obtain this. So, for <coughs> uh, the entry, which is the 0 dollar, we have for John two entries are both equal to zero but we give the priority to the one to the rows having one uh, zero entry so Carrie will do job three which is the washing Karen will do job one which is the mowing and John as uh, the remain will be painting so we pay John ten dollar Karen nine dollar to mow the loan John ten dollar to paint and Terry eight dollar to do uh, washing of the cars if no feasible assignment with all zero entity can be secured with step one and two we have to draw the minimum number of horizontal and vertical line that cover all zero entries the minimum number of horizontal and vertical line I will show you in a second and then we select the small uncovered item subtracted from every uncovered entry 
and then add one, add, add it to every entity in the intersection of the two lines. Okay, if no feasible solution, we have to repeat this step, and then go back to step three, which is select, identify the optimal solution. So we start by this example. We have child, four child, and four chores. We start doing the same, 1, 7, 4, with the minimum value in every single row, 1, 7, 4, and 5. We subtract those values, and then we do 0, 0, 3, 0, which is 0, 0, 3, 0. And then we subtract it from every single entry in the column, until we get here, which is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, 3 minus 3 is 0, till we get this option. Unfortunately, there is uh, this is the optimal position for child one job one, and this is the optimal position for child three job three. So we have to do this extra in the algorithm. We have to cover to select the minimum number of lines that cover all the zeros. So we select one vertical and two horizontal line. The minimum number in the uncovered entry is one. We subtract this value from all uncovered entries. So we have two one one two one one zero three two and we add it to the intersection of those lines this will become 3 and this one will become 4 and we do the same job for side 1 there is 1 0 which is a minimum feasible solution so side 1 will get a job 1 side is 3 job 1 is taken so it'll get a job 2 side 2 job 2 is taken so it'll get a job 3 and side 4 he get a job 4 so in this way we have 0 corresponding to 1, 0 corresponding to 10, 0 corresponding to 5, and another 0 corresponding to 5 for the value of $21. Okay. Uh, for this another example, we have 4 jobs assigned to 4 workers. But we take here into consideration that worker 1 cannot do, do job 3 and worker 3 cannot do job 4. In order to solve the problem, we don't put here as 0, we just put like x. And we consider it as a value as x minus when we subtract from every row or every column. Okay. For the second one, there is a dummy destination because we have 5 workers, so we have a dummy work, a dummy job. Dummy job will be equal to zero zero zero, and we solve it at a normal matrix. 